the roof calculating the surface area, we found that some shapes have unique surface areas where they're a little bit more difficult to calculate. So we looked at the paper towel roll. We said, okay, well, when you look at the surface area of the paper towel roll, it's actually two cylinders in the paper towel roll. So when we looked at it, we thought, okay, well, if the radius of the big one, let's say it's five centimeters, all right, and the diameter of the little one is two centimeters, and the height of our paper towel is going to be 20 centimeters. So then how do we figure out the total surface area of the shape? Well, the first thing that we had to figure out was what shapes make up the cylinder. We drew a net, okay? And so I split this up into two different cylinders. I have the big cylinder and the little cylinder. Okay, now the big cylinder, if you're pretending that this paper towel roll uh, doesn't have a hole in the middle, like that it's just full on paper towel rolled up and this red part that I drew out does not exist. When we look at a cylinder, okay, that big cylinder, okay, what it looks like It is one of the possible nets of the cylinder. So it's two circles and a rectangle. So we said, okay, we have to figure out the area of this circle. We have to figure out the area of this circle. We have to figure out the area of this rectangle. Well, we know the area of the circle is pi r squared. All right, now that's fine. Pi r squared, but that's an area of one circle, okay? So it's a top circle, all right? So let's say that. Let's call this the top circle. Right? So pi r squared, let me fill it in. We've got 3.14 times our radius. Well, the radius of the big one is 5 and squared. So now we have 3.14 times 5 squared. So when we put that into our calculator, we're going to get 78.5 centimeters squared because of this area. All right? Now from here, that's just the top circle. But the thing is, what's really nice is that we know the bottom circle is actually going to be the same thing. So the bottom circle is also going to be 78.5 centimeters squared, okay? The area of that bottom circle, okay? Then really what we're left with is that middle section, that rectangle. Now, the thing about the rectangle is we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width, right? But when we go up here, okay, this length here is a different color. Okay, it's not really length. We're not given that when we look at the paper towel. Okay, this paper towel, we're not given the length of that rectangle. But we are told that this is the amount that wraps around the top. Okay, so if you wrap around a circle, what is that called? Well, we said that's the circumference. Okay, the length of that. And then we said this length here, the width, technically, is actually the height of that paper towel. Okay, and now they give us the height, which is nice. So the height of the paper towel is 20 centimeters, right? So our length is actually the circumference, and our width is the height. We have to multiply these two values. Now, the thing is, circumference has a formula, right? To figure out what circumference is, it's going to be 2 pi r, and then we multiply that by the height. Okay, so now let's fill this in. 2 times 3.14 times the radius, which is 5, and times the height, which is 20. So now when we put this into our calculator, it's 2 times 3.14 times 5 times 20, we're going to get 628 centimeters squared. Okay, it's an area. And then to figure out the total, we would add these up. But before we do that, we're going to do the small cylinder first. Okay, now the thing about the small cylinder is when we go up to the top, we look at it, we're given the diameter from one end of the circle to the other. That's two centimeters. Now the problem is we don't want the diameter because the area of that top circle is going to be pi r squared. Okay? Well, pi is 3.14, but the radius, radius is half the diameter. So if the diameter is two, the radius is half of that. So it's going to be one centimeter squared. All right? Well, when we put that into our calculators, we get 3.14 centimeters squared. Perfect. Okay. What do you think the bottom circle is going to be then? Well, it's got to be the same, right? They're the same size. So 3.14 times 
centimeters squared. And then finally, we have that middle rectangle, which we know is actually circumference times the height. Okay, so the circumference, circumference, and times the height, circumference is 2 pi r times the height. All right, well, we fill this in, 2 times 3.14, the radius, which we just figured out, was going to be 1, and the height is still 20. Please, Ms. Argento, 102. The height is still um, 20. So when we put this into our calculator, 2 times 3.14 times 1 times 20, we get 125.6 centimeters squared. Now, here's the problem solving part. Okay, we have all these little areas. But when we go back to our paper towel rule, okay, we only notice that surface area is made up only of a few shapes. Okay, we actually the surface area is of the big cylinder. Yeah, that's the outside. Okay, so we need to have that, and then we need to have the area of the middle cylinder because that is the surface area that we need to calculate. So if we go down here. In the middle part of that big one is 628 centimeters squared. And the middle part of the small one there is 125.6 centimeters squared. Okay, so we need those two for sure. Right? But if we go to the top again and we look at the big one, we have that top circled area, but that top circled area isn't full. Okay? We need to get rid of this area that we calculated. So our top circle area, okay, well, that is 78.5. Now, 78.5 is the area if it was full, okay, but it's not, right? There's a hole, and that hole's area is 3.14. So we have to get rid of that hole first. So let's do that. Okay, we have the area. 78.5, but we have to get rid of 3.14, okay, because this is the full big circle, and this is the whole. We have to get rid of the whole area, so it doesn't count, it's a whole. So 78.5 minus 3.14 is going to give us 75.36, okay, centimeters squared. So that's the area of the top circle. Well, the bottom is going to be the same, 75.36 centimeters squared. And then all we need to do now is we got to add those together, plus we need to add the two middle sections of the rectangle. 75.36 plus 75.36 plus 628 plus 125.6. Right? Because now we have the top circle, the bottom circle, the big middle, and the inner middle. Okay, and together they should give us the total surface area of this object. Okay, which is going to be 904.32 centimeters squared. 